Hi friends, I would like to share a devotional thought with you. In Psalms 51 7, the Bible says, Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. A revival of true godliness among us is the greatest, most urgent need among us. To seek this should be our first work. There must be earnest effort to obtain the blessing of the Lord. Not because God is not willing to bestow his blessing upon us, but because we are unprepared to receive it. Our Heavenly Father is more willing to give his Holy Spirit to them that ask him than our earthly parents to give good gifts to their children. But it is our work by confession, humiliation, repentance, and earnest prayer to fulfill the conditions upon which God has promised to grant us his blessing. The old standard bearers, they knew what it was to wrestle with God in prayer and to enjoy the outpouring of the Spirit. But as these are passing off from the stage of action and who are coming up to fulfill their places, how is it with the rising generation? Are they converted to God? Are we awake to the work that is going on in the heavenly sanctuary? Or are we waiting for some compelling power to come upon the church before we are aroused? Are we hoping to see the worldwide church revive? If we just sit back and wait, that time will never come. There are people in the church who are not converted and who, are, who will not unite in earnest prevailing prayer. What must happen is that we must enter upon the work of prayer, revival, and restoration individually. We must pray more and talk less. A revival need be expected only in answer to prayer. While the people are so in need of God's Holy Spirit, we cannot appreciate the preaching of the word. But when the Spirit's power touches their hearts, then sermons that are preached will not be without effect. Guided by the teachings of God's word, with the manifestation of his spirit, in the exercise of sound discretion, those who hear the preached word will gain a precious experience, and returning home will be prepared to be a positive influence in their family, their community, and their world. May God bless you.